Hey guys, it's Nick Cleverlander from Pegasus Property Group. So um, I said that I'd do a video talking about um, basically what I've been doing. So this all comes from a Facebook post that I did the other day. Uh, basically it just says I'm on fire this week, uh, four new deals this week, 20k plus in, um, in fees, uh, ongoing lettings, etc, etc. Um, I've said that I want to do 100 deals this year, so I've got 96 deals left to go. And I said if anyone wanted me to do a video on how I do this, then just comment below. So I had about 27 comments from people saying, can you do a video? So um, yes, I can. So um, for those of you who don't know, I've just written a book with John Colclough, my business partner at Pegasus, uh, which is called the Developers Refurb Manual. Um, so just a quick plug on that, it's £3.99. Um, I'll put a, a link below on how you can buy it. You can get it through PayPal. It's coming out this week. Um, so get on that, it's really good. Um, but basically, how do I get 100 deals in a year? How have I done four deals in the last, in the last week? It's quite simple, I'm not gonna bullshit you. You know, most of it's off right move. Anyone can go on right move. Problem is, not anyone knows where all the good deals are. Not everyone knows how to look for them. Not everyone has systems in place which allow us to, well, they, our systems allow us to very quickly actually um, find a deal, analyze it, and get an offer put in straight away. So I'm gonna kind of talk, not more, I'm not, I'm not really gonna talk loads about how we find the deals and the source inside of it, because that's pretty simple. We go on right move and we look on the map and we, we find find the properties. I mean, you know, if I go on to right move now uh, on my laptop here, um, you know, I put I put in I put in a postcode there basically, um, and then top right hand corner it says map. You can't see it very well on there, but basically you click map and then it just gives you a circle. So I know my area very well. I know Stoke on Trent very well. So. Um, you know, I know that I can go through here now. I'll go top to bottom, side to side, and I'll just click on each one, and every single one which I know is gonna stack roughly in my head, um, I'll right click on that, open new tab, and I'll just open up loads of tabs all the way along my browser, and then I'll go through every single one and I'll analyze it. So how do I do that? So basically, um, I've got these spreadsheets that I use, um, and I sell these spreadsheets for uh, £9.97 normally but I've got videos on how to use them as well. But I've got a deal stacking spreadsheet there. So I literally just put all the numbers in, what the purchase price is, what I think the renovation's gonna cost, um, all the GDP, the rental incomes, all that stuff. And then it spits out my ROIs and my yields. Um, and then I go, yes, or I go, no. <laughs> and it's, it's quick and easy. Um, you know, I can stack a deal on this in under a minute. Um, I can see what the purchase price is. I reckon I can get it for you know, a couple, couple grand knocked off or whatever. I do all the maths on it very quickly in a spreadsheet and jobs are good in. Um, I know what the renovation is gonna cost because I've done so many of these projects already. I know that in my head, if I can get a property for between 60 and 80,000 pound, that I can get three or four bedrooms in. Uh, if it's 60 grand, it's probably gonna need 20K spent on it. If it's 80 grand, I'd expect it to be in good condition. So it wouldn't need much spent on it at all, maybe a few thousand pound. Put some fire doors in and an interlink smoke alarm system basically redecorate and away it goes, furnish it, rent it out. Um, so that's how I do that side of it. So I'm on right move or I've got flyers being dropped and somebody rings me up and I just ask a few basic bits of information. I do a spreadsheet, it does all the maths for me so I can't get it wrong um, and away I go. After a while you start knowing that a house for 60,000 pound that I can get three bedrooms in with a 20K renovation. I know that will be a GDP of 85K. I know that off by heart from doing so many of those projects. Um, you know, as a company, we've done 30 projects in 21 months. We're on project 31 now, and these other four that I've sourced and sold in the last week, that's 35. So as you can see, it's just going and going and going. Um, I know that a six bedroom all on suite HMO, if you pick that up for 100 to 120K for a three bed Victorian property, and we'd get six bedroom all in suites in there, and that would cost for 60 to 80,000 pounds to renovate, and the GDP on that would probably be what we pretty much bought and spent on it. So. You know, when you refinance that 75% LTV, you probably leave about 50K tied up in the deal, but then six bedrooms, all on suites, rental income is like 450 a room, say. So by the time you work out your, your uh, net per, um, per annum income, your ROI is super high on the money you've left in, it's like 50% plus. Um, so I know all this off by heart. So when I'm looking at deals on right move, I'm just going boom, 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 boom. Do you know what I mean? So um, when I said, um, you know, 20K off four deals, so the way I do it is, is I'd find a deal, I'd package it, I'd go to one of my clients and I'd say, hey, look, this is off right move, I'm not gonna bullshit you, it's off right move, but because I'm telling you where to buy a house and because I've done due diligence on it and I've stacked it and I've viewed it and I've done floor plans and 3D render floor plans and all the design, I want a thousand pounds basically for my time. 
and my clients will go, here's your thousand pound, Nick, thank you very much. Because uh, without me, they wouldn't know, they wouldn't know. Without people like me who are local doing that and relying on people who do it remotely, they don't know the area. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They don't know the area. I've seen people around here buying houses, turning them into HMOs, and bloody council estates. Nobody wants to live in those. Professionals don't want to live in those. The students don't want to live in those areas. So they can't fill the rooms. And that's all because the sourcer is not a local person. They don't know the market. So if you're a local person, you know your market, you've got a value. Even if it's on right move or it's direct defender or it's through the estate agent, whatever, you've just got a value to it because you've put your stamp of approval on that deal. That's worth money. So I'll charge for that. And then um, my company will then project manage the renovation. So we get a building team in, we renovate it. We charge normally 10 to 12% of the builder's cost as a project management fee. So each of these projects um, will roughly be about two and a half thousand pound project management fee. So that's 1,000 pounds normally a finder's fee. I don't call it a sourcing fee if it's off right move because I feel dirty saying that. Um, two and a half thousand pound project management management fee on average, that's three and a half thousand pounds. Um, and then we furnish it and dress it as well. We make a little bit on that. So all in all, it's about 5K per deal profit. We've done four of those in the week. So that's obviously uh, income generated by those four deals um, is immediately 4,000 pounds. And then obviously another 16,000 pounds on top over the duration of the projects. Um, so we also let the projects for people. So when we do lettings, we get finders fees for tenants and we get admin fees as well. And then we get the, we get, we've got a cleaner that cleans the properties, we make a little bit on that. So, and then the management fees as well. So we're making, we're making money all which ways we can. We do flyer drops. We've got 9,000 flyers being dropped this month around um, different areas of Stoke-on-Trent. They're direct defender style leaflets, but we will sell properties for people if they're done up as an estate agency. We do building works, we do the lettings, we do options, we can do anything. So when we drop leaflets, any phone call that comes in, we can service those people and we can make money in some way. Um, is it easy to be able to do all these multiple different things? Not really. We've got a team of people, we've got loads of systems in place, so yes, we can do it. Um, also, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, kind of so like the, the full system that we use start to finish. So we find the deal, we stack it on an analyzer, we go yes or no. If it's a yes, um, I stick it into a folder on Dropbox. So I've got a, fo um, a folder on here called Nick's Potential Deals because there's different people in my company, so we've all got our own folders. Um, you know, I've got a, a spreadsheet which is like an overlook overview folder. So um, on here on my overview folder, that's what my overview folder looks like. Um, so it's colour coded. So if it's red, it means it needs a viewing booked in. If it's in orange, it means that the viewing has been booked in. If it's in blue, it means that the viewing has been completed. And then if it's green, it means we've sold it on to somebody. So I've got about, about 25 deals there that I need to go and look at. Uh, which all stack basically. So I've stacked one on Analyzer, um, which like I said, we sell for £9.97 if you want a copy. Um, and then we basically go and view it. When we go and view it, I then move um, the spreadsheet in Dropbox um, into a folder which is called like Viewings Booked. And then when the viewing has been conducted, it then goes into a folder called Viewings Complete. And then when, we, <coughs> then when we've, we've found somebody to buy it, it goes into Sold. And if the property gets withdrawn, we put it into a withdrawn folder. So some properties get sold before we've had a chance to look at them, look at them for example, or whatever. They go, they go into that folder and every now and then we just give them a ring up and say, hey, is it available again? Sometimes it is. So that's kind of like that side of it. So when I actually go and do a viewing, um, I take this with me. So this is called a um, viewing checkoff list sash guidance. So it's got a big list there. It's multiple pages long. It's... Uh, got all these and it's got a little calculation spit at the end so you can put in what you think the basically the ROIs will be and the yields and all that kind of thing which was taken off the spreadsheet. I've got a little refurb checkoff list so if you're doing a renovation you can just check off things like and it gives you a little price guide as well so how much it costs per meter for skirting, how much it costs per square meter for painting, plastering, uh, how much it costs to put a fire door in, a normal door, a window, a roof, how much it costs to do a roof, how much it costs to do a an extension per square meter. It's all on there. Um, and basically, this is what we do. So we go around, we're a paperless company. However, I'm not stupid. It is quicker to, when you're walking around the house, it's way quicker to tick, tick and fill in a, spread, you know, a sheet like this um, than it is to try and do it electronically or whatever. So in my experience, you know, have having done it quite a few times, um, this is quicker for me just to go tick, 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 tick. I check off. 
It's got things on there like external, so that's the first bit. Check roof for slip tiles and bearing, flashing around chimney. Uh, check the pointing and benching on the chimney, any plant growth, windows condition, doors condition, general condition of walls, blah, 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 blah. Japanese not weed, condition of gates and fences, any obvious asbestos such as downpipes, flue pipes, etc. So that's like the external bit. Internals, things like checking for damp, checking for damp patches and corners of ceilings, checking skirting isn't rotten, check bathroom condition, check taps work okay, check the boiler, check the gas meter location, um, check the fire break in the loft, so that's the, basically where your lofts connect to other houses, that should be fully sealed up and if it's not, the property could be unmortgageable, so that's important. Check the phone signal, check who the internet provider is, those are really important for us as HMO guys. And that's it really, so that's kind of that, so I go through, I tick all this stuff off, the agent's trying to talk to me or the vendor's trying to talk to me, they're trying to put me off what I'm doing, I, I'm going through a check off list where I can't forget to check things, so it's very thorough. Um, so that happens and then I basically go home and I type that up into a, a Word document and then that goes into the Dropbox folder for each deal. So that's this checkoff list is part of my refurb manual book that we've just released. So um, it's £3.99 for the whole book and then basically the book comes with some pretty awesome bonus content as well. Uh, you have to buy the bonus content but um, things like my deal analyzer, I sell that for £9.97 and things like this I sell as well and basically all the documentation is probably worth hundreds of pounds but we're selling it all uh, as part of the book for £29.97 so it's pretty good value for money but you don't have to buy it if you just buy the book the book's full of awesome content as well um, but you get you get the picture so that's kind of the system so uh, stack it on a deal analyzer stick it into if it's a goer I stick it into a spreadsheet of all the other deals we book the few ins in we go and look at it we do the check off list if everything checks out um, you know, we basically go to the agent and say, yeah, we'll have it. We secure the deal. The agencies know how we operate. They know what we do. They know that we secure deals. We go to other people and get them to buy them basically. Then we renovate it for them and then we let it for them. If it's a deal that we want, then we'll have it ourselves. We'll buy it ourselves as a company. Um, and that's that really. So that's how I'm banging out loads of deals really. And that's how we're, that's how we're smashing out loads of projects. It's, you have to build your company on, on rock, not sand. Do you know what I mean? It's all good having tons of deals, but if you haven't got the builders in place, if you haven't got the, the lettings management in place, if you haven't got good sourcing practices and the clients as well, you need to have a client base there to actually send these deals to. If you haven't got any all those things lined up, it's totally pointless having the deals because you can't do the deals. You're just going to be useless and it's like overtrade. You hear companies who overtrade too much because they're, they're too successful too quickly. Um, so we feel that we've really built a solid foundation for the company. We've got the good builders, we've got the systems, we've got a good letting agency that we run ourselves. Um, everything's ready. Now we just need the deals to go in. You know, we've got the clients, we just need the deals. So now that we're ready to take the deals on, now we're ready to, now we're ready to go. So this is how I do it. So I go on right move, we do flyer drops, we go to estate agencies, you know who we are. We buy quite a lot of houses off agencies. So obviously they, they send us deals and they give us good deals and we pass them on to our clients really. Um, that's it, so hopefully that's answered the, you know, the, the post that I did on Facebook where I said I'd do a video talking about it. Hopefully that's, um, that's, that's, that's cool for you. Um, if there's any questions, please let me know. Uh, don't forget to buy the new refurb manual. Um, £3.99, you can do it through PayPal. Uh, it's got loads of awesome content. Sorry, I got cut off then, somebody was trying to call me, how rude. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, we do a workshop as well. So if you want to come on our workshop, um, you know, go on our website, www.pegasuspg.com. So that's www.pegasuspg.com. And uh, there's a link at the top which says um, developers workshop. So if you go on there, you can come to Stoke-on-Trent, you can meet the team. Uh, we'll show you all our projects, we'll show you how we do everything. Um, and also we run a developers community called Unity Project. So if you want to get involved in that, it's £100 a month subscription fee. It's £50 for the first month to see if you like it or not. Um, we have monthly seminars and workshops from people, from experts. Um, we do exclusive webinars. For example, I did a webinar recently where I basically explained how I run a letting agency start to finish. Pretty much how to, how to start and run a letting agency start to finish, all systemized. Um, so that webinar on its own is probably worth tons of money to people. Um, and that's all just part of the group. You know, we do masterminds every month, we do webinars, we've got canoeing holidays booked in for, for the group. Um, and it's got about 45 people in it at the minute, so it's always growing. 
Um, loads of awesome information there. It's a great community. Go on my page, you can see testimonials from people. Uh, everyone's loving it at the minute and we want to grow it hopefully into quite, quite a big thing. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching that. Um, if you want to find out more about Unity Project, www.unitycommunity.co.uk. Uh, any questions, please ask, post below. Um, you know, I'm here, I'm here to help basically. I love helping people. Um, thank you very much. I'm Nick Leverland from Pegasus Property. Cheers, bye-bye.